Welcome to Jukumba Hot Springs. Welcome to Jukumba. Jukumba. This is like a uh, trailer park they got out here. Out here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's clean. Clean. What is this? A church? Has a house for sale. Sunday breakfast. I think that's a church. Oh, it's a little house. Oh, look at that one. That is cool. They got a library in here. Oh, look at this giant snake. That is awesome. It's a community park. This is cool. This is a cool little town. Look at that little house. They're all like tiny houses, man. This is cool. There's a youth center. Looks like it's a little shut down. I wonder where the actual hot springs is. So we got a restaurant here. All oh, these houses are so small. This is cool. There's a restaurant. Oh, Chicumba Hot Springs Spa. That's probably where we would get our showers. There's a abandoned gas station. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, this is cool, man. Old school. I wonder how old those buildings are. Oh, yeah, look at this. The Love Shack. This is a cool little area. Oh, look at this fireplace. Wow, man. That building must have burned out. Oh, take a left here. I see a cool house up there. Look at this freaking house. This is like a fairy tale, uh, like Disney looking house. That is the coolest house I've ever, is that not the coolest house you've ever seen, Evie? It is. Look at that thing, man. It's got like a Japanese roof on it and old bricks. That is so cool. That is amazing. Uh -oh. Okay, so I just met a really cool local. And this is like all the information about the place. You can pause and read that if you want. So this fireplace that I saw across the street, right there, was the old hotel. And this is the old bathhouse. So the hot springs are right under this thing and I guess they're piping them to the new bathhouse where we were gonna go. I think we still might go check it out. Um, yeah, that really cool local was like, yeah, if you get, I, I told her, hey, do they allow showers there? Like, we just want a shower. And she's like, I don't know, but I could probably let you use our shower. So looks like we're gonna go over there and check it out. Look at this, man. This is crazy. This is a super, super abandoned building. So yeah, I guess there's like a vortex here, energy vortex, and you know, they have the hot springs and everything else. This is such a cool place. Wow, man. There's like a little room, I don't even wanna go over there. This is wild, man. <laughs> it's so cool. Glad we came here. So I saw these trails and I decided to come back here and see what's going on and I could hear water. I think the actual hot spring is back here. Yeah, I think that's it right there. This is the actual hot spring. This is where they pump it to the uh, to the new bathhouse. Isn't that cool? That's amazing. All right, let's get out of here. All right, guys. So we just stopped into the uh, Hot Springs Lodge Resort restaurant thing and got a sandwich real quick. It was literally, literally the best sandwich I've ever had in my life. I had the Southwest. Uh, club, I guess you would call it. And they have hot spring jacuzzi here, which is awesome. Uh, we were probably going to use that tonight and they have showers in there. And they said, since we are using that, we can park out here tonight. So we got a place to park. So this is cool, man. Highly, highly, highly recommend this place. And they gave me this map. Check this out. This is a guided tour of the area. It has all these different places we can check out here. So this is awesome, man. We're gonna stay here tonight and tomorrow go out and adventure and look around and um, cross as many of these off our list as we can. 
And there's also a little brochure they gave me about the uh, about the hot springs themselves. So this is a cool place, man. I, d I absolutely recommend coming here. We love it. It kind of reminds us of Goldfield. It's kind of like a little ghost town kind of. It's got like a very small town, ghost town feel. Oh, look at that building. That building's abandoned. So we're back at the old hotel now. It looks like this was a swimming pool. Yeah, it was. It's all filled in now. See? This was absolutely a swimming pool. Wild. So here's a picture of what it used to look like. Look at that, Hotel Vaughn, 65 room. In 1883, there was a fire that closed and was demolished by 1891. Many of the boards and bricks were used for homes on both sides of the immediate border. That is cool. So there's the bathhouse where we were at earlier. And here's the fireplace. Look at that, man. This is all that's left. Someone's been using it. Wow, wow, this is all quartz. This is a giant quartz crystal. Well, not back here. I'm not sure what this would have been. It looks like it's a cap on top of something because see how it's like sunken in there? Crazy. Let's see what Evie's doing. Oh, there's a hole. It's a snake hole. What are you doing over here? I'm trying to film this thing, but Lily gets on the way and then she's on the way. You want me to hold her for a minute? Yeah. Okay. She's like, don't let her go there. Don't let her go there? No. Why? It's because I'm trying to do that pan shot. Okay. Come here, bro. This was a jacuzzi. Look, you can see the blue over there, just like on the pool. You can see it right there, too. And this was like how you got in. Wild, man. Well, I think we're gonna go look on uh, uh, the maps and see how close we can get to the border. The border fence is just like right there. It's right there. So I think we can take this road up, maybe. Maybe there's another road where we can take like up to the border. I wanna see like the fence itself, see it in person. I've never seen one before. All right, so I'm in here looking at the map. We're here. I'm trying to find a way to get down to the border and it looks like there's this road, street, X E X T, I'm not sure what that means, but it looks like this road right here goes straight to it. So we just drive down that road and uh, get to the border. There's also this community park up here that has the cool snake and the library, and they have some other stuff. And there's all these streets up here. So maybe after that, we'll go up and just drive around here a little bit and check that out and see what's up here. You boys like Mexico? Woohoo! If you know what movie that's from, uh, drop a comment below. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I think that's how the line goes anyway. I don't know. Let's go to Mexico. What do you think? Sure. All right, we're closing in on the border. There's some weird thing up there with things flapping around. I'm not sure what it, oh, there's a tumbleweed down there. There's a tumbleweed. You see it? You see the tumbleweed? So this is fenced off. See that thing up there hanging? It's got like shoes hanging from it or something. Uh, is this someone's house? I think so. So we need to turn around. Dang it. This is the closest I've been to Mexican border without actually being in Mexico. Because I've been to Mexico before, but I flew there. I didn't drive next to the Mexican fence. Look, it's like right this here. Is, I can touch it. This is it, man. I can touch it. There's border patrol up behind us. And there's some guys down there talking. A border patrol behind our car? Yeah, he's up on the hill, he's watching. Oh. Wild, man. I've actually never been this close to Mexico. Look, there's a house right there. Isn't that crazy? This is what the, the wall looks like. Wow, man. Just right on the other side is Mexico. There, now I've been to Mexico. Yeah, look how far it goes up to the side of that mountain and then it just stops. Can I touch it? I don't know why it stops. Yeah, stick your finger through it. I see Mexico. <laughs> crazy, man. All right, we got to go figure out what that thing is down there. There's a crazy uh, 
I don't know what it is. It's like a sign or something with shoes hanging from it. Look at all these crazy cactuses, man. These are wild. So here's the thing. It says, are we nice? Or were we nice? And then has check marks for yes and no in Spanish. This is actually a really nice like vista point up here. So there's Mexico. There's a ton of houses over there. So before they put this wall up, they used to just come, be able to come just straight over the border and you know, buy food and work or do whatever. What is this? They got a bunch of, oh, they're Mexican blankets hanging up here. This is made with uh, bricks and wood and rope. Wild. Babe, it looks like a place where they used to hang people. I don't think they hung people here. I think this is to symbolize all the people who crossed the border, who had to go under the fence, who got their their shirts or ponchos or whatever they're called caught on the fence. It's it's like a memorial because it seems like it, doesn't it? Have you ever crawled under a barbed wire fence? No, but this thing over here it has chains in it. Yeah, I don't know what this one is. There's a bunch of old metal stuff up here. Look at all this old metal stuff. This is interesting though. If anybody knows what this uh, monument is, please let us know. Look at all this old stuff. What is it? Was there a house up here? Yeah, look at that wall. Look at that freaking thing. Just Mexico, just right there. All right, I think we're gonna go back down and figure out what else we're gonna do today. Oh, there's barbed wire everywhere. All right, so we're at the uh, park and the library is right there. I wanted to get a good look at this snake, man. This is awesome. This is so cool. How long do you think it took the person to build this? It's pretty thin. That is so cool. So at this park, they have the uh, restrooms down there. And I think we're gonna just hang out here for a while and then head back to the uh, hotel and um, the thing. Oh, this shows the energy vortex. Table Mountain. Where are we now? There's the airport spot. Okay, we're right here. So we go up there and we can get to the vortex. That's This is cool, man. This is all hand painted. Check this out. Coyotes flying saucer retrieval and repair service up here. <laughs> That's cool. Acatillo, hope I'm saying that right. Oh yeah, and they have this Institute of Perception grounds and pyramid. We'll probably go check that out tomorrow. And the Jacumba Peak, which is the Vortex power spot. Yeah, we'll probably go up there and check it out tomorrow and check out uh, whatever else we can find in town. I think we're just gonna chill here till the sun goes down and then uh, go to sleep. Or go edit and hang out and then go to sleep. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Love yourself.